forecast first, sponsored by Natax Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing. Well, a wintry mix across parts of central Illinois tonight. A little bit of everything. You see a lot of colors, the blues, the greens, the pinks, as the radar tries to indicate exactly what we're seeing. Uh, Champaign, not much. A light mist, some drizzle. Some snowflakes have been seen from Farmer City, Gibson City, down to Clinton. Decatur, you guys really had some snow here this afternoon. But we're thinking that this snow really is going to start to change over to rain for a lot of us as our temperature gets well above that freezing mark. It's 35 in Champaign, still 32 Taylorville, 34 in Decatur. But again, we're going to be monitoring this as that snow switches over to all rain, but we're not done yet. Another wave coming in tomorrow night could bring additional snowfall. We'll track that for you, let you know what to expect coming up. WCIA 3 News starts right now. Now on WCIA 3 News. Three bodies were found inside a home in Danville. The latest on the investigation investigation into what happened. The man accused of killing Holly Cassano more than 10 years ago is going to trial. What his lawyers are trying to make sure the jury doesn't hear. We're working step by step to, to improve the neighborhood. And a neighborhood with a violent history could see a brighter future. Why some think lights and doorbells are part of the solution. You're watching your local news leader. This is WCIA 3 News at 5. Three bodies were found inside a house in Danville. Now police are investigating to find out how they were killed. Good evening. I'm Paul Cicchini. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. The discovery happened around 11 this morning at the corner of Elm and Cherry Street. WCIA 3's Jennifer Jensen is live there now from Danville. So, Jennifer, do we know how they died? Jennifer, police have not released their cause of death or what led up to what happened in this home earlier today. Officials say they were called out to a report of three people down inside of that home. They say their ages are from 60 to 67 years old, but they have not released their names yet. I contacted the coroner to get more information about how they died, and I'm waiting to hear back on that. That's very early on in this investigation. State police and Danville police have been out here talking to people in the neighborhood and searching for evidence. The K-9 unit was also out here searching the area around the home earlier today. Police said they have no more information to share as of right now, but as soon as we get any updates, I will be sure to bring you that. Live in Danville, I'm Jennifer Jensen, WCIA 3, your local news leader. All right, let us know what you find out. Thanks, Jennifer. We have an update on a triple murder in Livingston County. The suspect pleaded not guilty to six counts of murder. Clifford Brewer is a former state corrections officer. Police say he killed his wife, Shirley, 27-year-old son, Christian, and 51-year-old Norman Walker. They were all found dead inside the Brewer's home on Christmas Eve. Brewer is being held on $5 million bond. We have new information tonight. A jury will hear portions of a police interrogation tape with the man accused of murdering and raping Holly Cassano in Muhammad. Michael Henslick is on trial for stabbing her to death in 2009. The two are former classmates and they were neighbors. He was arrested in 2018. Police say he admitted to the crime. He pleaded not guilty. They haven't decided how much of Henslick's interrogation will be played. Henslick's defense team wants the video redacted. The defense says he didn't voluntarily give statements during that interrogation, and they are working on an agreement with the state's attorney about how much the jury will hear. Henslick's trial date is set for February 10th. Champaign police are still searching for two different suspects involved in separate bank robberies. One happened yesterday at First Mid Bank and Trust off of Windsor Road. They say a man came in wearing a skeleton mask skeleton face mask, pulled out a gun, jumped on the counter, and demanded money. The other happened earlier this month at First Midwest Bank on Prospect in Springfield. A woman who police believe was wearing a wig went in and demanded money. After implying she had a weapon, she drove off in a stolen silver sedan. If you have any information on either, contact Crime Stoppers. Police say an argument led to a shooting in Champaign. It happened last night on North Kenwood Road by Gramercy Park Apartments. A 25-year-old woman was taken to the hospital. Police haven't made any arrests. If you know anything, contact them. One neighborhood in Champaign is getting almost $70,000 to make their area safer. Yeah, it's all part of what's called the SLEEP program. That's a partnership with the city to add safety features, including more lighting, video doorbells, and new window locks. WCIA 3's Courtney Bunting is here. So, Courtney, where is this money coming from? 
Well, Paul, it's coming from a grant, and it's a competitive one. Thousands of other communities wanted it. It can cost up to $5,000 for just one home to be part of this sleep program. Now, this new money could help them work with around 20 more families. The sleep program, it's still new, and it started in May. More than 50 families have applied for it, and the city is still going through those applications. But eight families are already benefiting from it. Neighborhood Association leaders say having this program helps more than just the families that are part of it. We're working step by step to, to improve the neighborhood and get those uh, things into place. I know it takes time, but this is definitely going to help um, hopefully deter some crime and, and light up some areas that definitely have um, need that light, extra lighting. And that extra lighting will help and also those video doorbells we talked about they're called ring doorbells and they not only record when someone pushes your bell but they also pick up when someone just walks nearby so you can warn your neighbors if you see anyone suspicious and there are more than a thousand homes in the garden hills neighborhood and someday the hope is for every single family that needs that sleep program to be on board with it but that'll all be depending on how much money the city has to put toward it paul Certainly money's a big question, and the Garden Hills neighborhood isn't only struggling with safety in that regard, but drainage is a big issue, and this sleep program, it's not going to get help with that, right? Exactly, Paul. Neighborhood Association leaders, they say they do hope eventually that drainage issue will be addressed because when that standing water does freeze, it's dangerous for people walking and for drivers. Yeah, well, certainly they might have some issues here coming up uh, in this weather, yes. which uh, a lot of questions remain. Kevin's coming up to answer some of those in just a bit. Courtney, thanks. Well, for the first time, the Tolono Fire Department is hosting its own training. Anyone in the fire service in Illinois and surrounding states can attend. It'll be held at Unity High School next month. People will learn from experts in various fields and not just fire. We have EMS, which does your medical side. We have fire that's coming as well. And then we also have um, the Illinois State Police that's coming, and they're going to do a social media class. So there's lots of different opportunities for people within public safety, the fire service, and EMS to get some great training at a very, very reduced cost. The training's $55 for the whole weekend. All of that money will go back to the Tolono Fire Department to pay for training next year. That training will be February 29th and March 1st. For more information on how to sign up, head to WCIA.com. Two schools in one city will soon be under one roof. Why, that means some people could be losing their jobs. Plus, they spend endless hours in the classroom with your kids. Now, some teachers in central Illinois are being honored for those long hours. How they're going above and beyond.